In this video, we're looking at section 2.5 in your textbook, and it's outcome number two, solving radical equations. The first step in solving radical equations is to isolate the radical here to one side of the equation by moving everything else to the other side. So in this example, we're going to isolate the square root of 2x minus 1 on the left-hand side and move the plus 2 over to the other side. So because it's adding 2 um, to get rid of it and to move it, we're going to subtract 2 on either side. That leaves us with 2x minus 1 on the left-hand side and x minus 2 on the right-hand side. And now I've isolated my radical on the left um, and moved all of my terms over onto the right. The next step in the equation is to get rid of the radical. And whenever you want to get rid of a radical, you're going to, uh, if you want to get rid of the square root, is to um, square the whole thing. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So when you have a square root, if you uh, then uh, put it to the power of 2, that cancels out the, uh, the square root. So that's going to leave us with 2x minus 1 on the left-hand side and uh, x minus 2 all squared on the right-hand side. Our next step is to expand x minus 2 all to the power of 2. So we're going to use FOIL here, and we're going to expand this out. So it's actually x minus 2 times x minus 2, and then we use FOIL to get the expanded uh, version of this. So we get x squared minus 4x plus 4 is uh, x minus 2 all squared expanded out. And that's, of course, equal to 2x minus 1. Our next step is to take 2x minus 1 and bring it over to the right-hand side uh, and then have the whole equation equal to 0. So to do that, uh, we're going to add 1 to both sides and subtract 2x from both sides. That's going to leave us with 0 on the left-hand side. And then we'll combine like terms. So x squared is by itself. Minus 4x minus 2x gives us minus 6x. And plus 4 plus 1 gives us plus 5. So our new equation is 0 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. And the next job is to factor x squared minus 6x plus 5. And that is uh, can be factored quite easily into x minus 1 x minus 5. Those are the two factors for that polynomial. And then we can go ahead and solve for x. So we're going to make the first factor x minus 1 equals 0. And the second factor x minus 5 equal to 0 as well. And then we're going to solve for our x's. So I'm going to plus 1 on either side gives me x is equal to 1. And then plus 5 on either side x is equal to positive 5. So our solution set looks to be x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 5, but we always must check to make sure that that is actually the case. So let me give myself a little bit of room, and let's go back and check. Let's substitute x equals 1 back into our original equation with the radical. So uh, we'll get 2 to times 1 minus 1 plus 2 should equal 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 uh, minus 1 all square root plus 2 is equal to 1. 2 minus 1 gives us 1 plus 2 equals 1. The square root of 1 is 1 itself plus 2 is equal to 1 and 3 equals 1. That is a false statement. So uh, x equals 1 is not uh, a solution. It's an extraneous solution. And then let's check x equals 5 and make sure that that one is, in fact, a uh, true solution. 
So 2 times 5 this time minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 5. 2 times 5 is 10 minus 1 plus 2 equals 5. 10 minus 1 gives us the square root of 9 plus 2. And uh, square root of 9 is 3 plus 2 equals 5. And 3 plus 2 does equal 5. So this is true. So our solution set is going to be x equals 5 for this question. So let's zoom back out just to see how it all came together to solve for the radical. So the first thing that we did was we moved, um, we isolated the radical on one side and moved all the terms over to the other side that were um, non-radical. And then to get rid of the radical, we uh, squared both sides of the equation, and that got rid of the radical here. We then had to expand this side of the equation um, to get us a new polynomial. And then we moved our terms from the left side also over to the right side um, to make it all equal to zero. Then we factored this polynomial and then uh, solve for x, x on each side. But then we had to do a check to make sure that our solutions were true for this equation. And we found that uh, x equals 1 was false. So that was not a proper solution. But x equals 5 was true. So the solution to this uh, radical equation was x equals 5. OK, let's look at another example. In this example, we have x plus 3, um, all square root, plus 3 is equal to x. Let's look at how we solve this example. So the first thing that we want to do in this example is to isolate the radical by moving positive 3 over to the right side. And because we are, uh, it's positive 3 on this side, to bring it over to the other side, we're going to subtract 3. And that will leave us with the radical of x plus 3 on the left side is equal to x minus 3 on the right. Our next step is to get rid of the radical. And to get rid of the radical, we're going to square both sides. And that's going to leave us with x plus uh, 3 on the left cancels out the radical, and that gives us x minus 3 squared all on the right. Now we're going to uh, expand x minus 3 all squared out, and we get uh, x squared minus 6x plus 9 as the simplified version of x minus 3 times x minus 3. At this point, what we now need to do is we need to move x plus 3 over to the right side, um, leaving us with a 0. So it would be x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus x minus 3. And then we want to simplify x squared and then minus 6x minus x gives us minus 7x, and plus 9 minus 3 gives us plus 6. So the simplified polynomial that we have now is 0 is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 6. Our next step is to factor this out. So I'm just going to bring, give myself a little bit more room here. Now to factor uh, this polynomial here, I'm going to expand uh, out my b here, negative 7x, and I'm going to go x squared uh, minus 1x minus 6x, because minus x minus 6x gives me minus 7x. Um, I'm using the British method here to uh, factor out. Um, and then I'm going to find the greatest common factors of these two groups to get my factors. So my first greatest common factor is going to be x, x minus 1. And then my second, I'm going to take out the negative 6, which will also leave me with x minus 1. So my factors then become, of course these are all equal to 0, will be x minus 1 
and x minus 6. So the x minus 1, x minus 6 is the factors for x squared minus 7x plus 6. And then my last step is to solve for x. So x minus 1 is equal to 0. I'm setting my factors to 0. x minus 6 is 0. Uh, that's going to give me x equals positive 1 and x equals positive 6. And then I want to do a check to see which one of these, or if both of these, will uh, be the correct solution. So first of all, um, I'm going to go and get back my original equation. So x is now 1 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 1. So the square root of 4 plus 3 equals 1. That gives me 2 plus 3 equals 1, and this one is actually false. So this is not a solution to this uh, radical equation. Let's see if 6 gives uh, does any better with this. So I'm going to substitute 6 in for x in my original equation. So I have 6 plus 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 plus 3 is uh, 9 plus 3 equals 6, and the square root of 9 is 3 plus 3 equals 6, and 3 plus 3 does equal 6, so this is true, so x equals 6 is the solution. So my solution to this equation is going to be 6. So let's zoom back out and just see the whole solution here for this question. Uh, things to keep in mind are that you do want to isolate the uh, radical to one side, then you want to cancel it out by making both sides, um, square rooting both sides, then you're going to expand out the left hand side by using FOIL, move x plus 3 or the terms from the left to the right to then get your uh, left side equal to 0 and then factor out your polynomials, um, the polynomial on the right hand side to get your two factors and then solve for x. You always want to make sure that you do form, uh, perform a check so that you can uh, check to see which one of the solutions uh, are uh, true or false and we did that here and we found that x equals 6 is the true solution for this radical equation. And that's the last example. Thank you for watching.